Hello friends, I am Tonman and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we will learn about a redox reaction. Okay, the redox reaction name is Clemenson reduction. This is the conversion of carbonyl group into a methylene group. This is the reduction. So we will discuss today mainly about the basic concept requirement of amalgam and its preparation uh, and Mosi zinc is a unique type of zinc. Second is the need of amalgamated zinc and mechanism of the process, requirement of the ACL means the strength of the ACL and the heterogeneous reaction and its practical application. So let's start. So as you can see that this is a redox reaction, which means some part of a molecule will be reduced and some will be oxidized. So actually what reaction is happening here, this carbonyl, you can see this is this also this R equal to carbon. So this is in plus 2 oxidation state, this is in minus 2 oxidation state. So this is the reduction, reduction, this reduction word is for the reduction of organic compound. Similarly, which part is getting oxidized? This zinc is getting oxidized. Why? Because in presence of acid, what zinc is producing? Zinc is producing zinc 2 plus plus 2 electron and these are responsible for reduction. Actually oxidation or reduction is nothing but the taking and giving of releasing or take, uh, taking of electron. So this is mainly the part responsible for the uh, reduction. Okay. And another thing you know carbonyl group is very important synthetic intermediate so if you need you can reduce this into corresponding methylene using this. Actually, this reaction is mainly acid mediated. Okay, this is acid mediated. But if you want to perform this reaction in presence of base, you may follow with crystal reduction. That is a hydrazine reduction. I shall explain this in next videos. Okay, so this is the acid mediated, and in this case, we have this concentrated HCl. This is around, around 36 percent ACL. Okay, this is the strength of this concentrated ACL. Okay, so this is mainly the uh, overview of this reaction. Now let's discuss about why amalgam. Okay, as you can see, amalgam. Amalgam is amalgam is solution. Solution of metal and mercury. What I am saying? Generally, we think solution means a liquid, a solid, or a gas, a gas and a liquid means gas or gas, liquid or liquid. So this type. But there is a one type of solution that is a solid solid solution, and am and this amalgam belongs to that category that is solid solid solution means. The mercury and this metal. But keep it in mind, when we talk about mercury, mercury is a hazardous for environment. Okay, and nowadays you can see that you can see that many environmental concern related things people are focusing because it is essential to save the earth. And for that reason, we always try to think sustainable, we always try to follow sustainable chemistry. Please keep this term in mind. Sustainable chemistry. What do I mean? This use of such type of toxic material should always be avo avoided. Why we are reading? We are reading to understand the basic concept and generally we will prefer not to use this amalgam. If we have any option, and actually there is an extension, I shall explain about activated zinc this thing. Okay, so we always focus on sustainable chemistry. Why? Because sustainable chemistry teaches us that how we can take care of our, our planet. Because whatever reaction we are doing, actually the side product, byproduct, reagent, whatever produce we are dumping on the earth, our planet, and it's a finite space, so everything is come. Everything is accumulating there and indirectly it is harming the ecosystem of this planet. So such type of thing should be avoided and that's why sustainable chemistry never allows the use of such toxic metals. Okay. 
I'll explain the alternate also. So this. So in this case, if you want to prepare this amalgam, then it is essential you should know about about a term that is mosaism. What does it mean? That molten zinc, molten zinc in cold water, it produces zinc granules. Okay, zinc granules it produces, and this is called mossy zinc. So this is the mossy zinc, and why it is needed? Because actually, you can consider it's a chunk. Chunk means, for example, irregular shape, looking this, 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 such type of thing. It's a chunk. So when we add mercury, what happens? This mercury. Actually, we are not adding mercury metal. We add mercury chloride (HCl2). So mercury is in plus two oxidation state, and we know this mercury, silver, gold, such metals could reduce very easily. And what happens in presence of this zinc? It reduces and produces this mercury zinc plus zinc two plus. Okay, zinc two plus, and actually this. Thing that is acid. So what happened in presence of acid? It is happened another thing. Acid means this part is aqueous. So this is soluble. So what it produces? This is. So what this zinc amalgam means, or what is the unique character? It is free. Actually, this is since it's a solid solid solution. So the zinc atoms are well distributed. Sorry, the mercury and uh, due to zinc this formation. The zinc atoms are well distributed into the solution, so you can consider that zinc, which is a metal, generally we consider it as a heterogeneous. It is now it is in it is in solution. Okay, so its reactivity is enhanced. Second point: this zinc amalgam, this zinc amalgam reacts in with acid, and what it produces? It produces nascent hydrogen. nascent hydrogen what do i mean this is nothing but hydrogen dot radical generally if we react zinc with hcl means for its h plus what it produces zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas and here see this this zinc is reduced because it is in 0 to plus sorry oxidized and this hydrogen which is in plus one right now zero so reduction happens So actually, role of these metals are reduc reducing it means as a reducing it. So they act as reducing it, and in actually, interestingly, what happens? This hydrogen, which this nascent hydrogen is produced, remains on the surface of the zinc. Means here, this nascent hydrogen remains instead of this is zinc amalgam. Instead of combining these two radical into the corresponding hydrogen gas and going out. They are they remain here. So actually, we are keeping this reducing agent onto the surface of this thing. Zinc, this uh, zinc amalgam solid solution. It's a solid, but it's actually solid solid solution. Okay. So this is and these act as reducing agent. I shall explain this factor in details. And so these act as reducing agent. And what you can think that this. could be oh and here it could be radical actually mechanism is not proven but what the thing is happening that one extra electron is coming to this carbonyl and it is getting reduced okay so this is the need of this such that first of all that this hydrogen release should not happen second thing that it produces this Dot hydrogen is relatively stable nascent hydrogen. Relatively stable. Actually, this is not stable because one electron. So the relatively stable this thing which acts to reduce the corresponding carbon group. So this is the nascent hydrogen production. But as I told that this mercury is toxic, environmentally toxic. So it is essential to find the way out. For removal or uh, avoiding this mean uh, this uh, mercury, so it is essential to develop some methodology. And what type of methodology is produced for that purpose? This activated zinc is used. So now the question will come: How to prepare this 
with the lone pair of oxygen or nitrogen okay which attacks like this this lone pair directly goes and attack it is not like that it is this electron donation and reaction happens so what happens this electron uh, two electron means and in presence of h plus what happens this is protonated first it's a formal charge of oxygen so after protonation this becomes further electron deficient and as we can think that this could have an another canonical form this r oh this and this is more convenient as the positive charge on a relatively less electronegative atom uh, carbon but in this case octet field so we should consider that this positive charge is delocalized both oxygen and carbon and ultimate comment on this situation is that this carbon became more electronegative so it is uh, prone to accept electron and this since it is electron deficient it will go and sit on the electron rich seat and in this context you need to understand something what do i mean because previously in the uh, first time we told that this reaction is done using zinc amalgam let's consider the example of amalgam so amalgam is prepared using a solid solution it's a chunk so in reaction medium for example this is the reaction medium in below there are the zinc amalgam thing <laughs> above that there is a HCl means this is actually aqueous HCl. I am saying 36% means rest of thing water. So this and above that like organic solvent like toluene. So this is like toluene. So this is a, actually a triphasic system you can consider because this is a biphasic, this water and uh, this organic solvent and below water this thing is present. So you can think this the concentration of the protonated carbon is less which is actually in the organic medium since its concentration less it will sit means the sitting probability of this chunk on this carbonyl uh, this carbonyl is less means very less number of molecules will be seated on this chunk okay so if it is then first electron transfer after that the chances of radical combination radical coupling to prepare pinacol derivative will be less on this surface and second that i told about the nitrogen hydrogen thing which helps to reduction faster so this is the overall overall picture so after that first it may produce this zinc attached carbon thing after reduction now you can think this could be instantly produce that this isopropanol means if this 2R are methyl, then it should produce this secondary alcohol, but it doesn't produce a secondary alcohol. Question why? Because that still this is bind to this zinc surface and this can be further reduced. And it is under acidic medium, see, because this is H plus rich thing. So what happens? This part is further protonated and produces this as a plus. And consequently, right now, this can leave. Second point, we always think that MCl, in presence of electron, it reduces to M dot plus Cl minus. We know it is very uh, thing. Even Grignard reagent, alkyl sodium, alkyl lithium, all these things follow similar strategy. Okay, so now the question is, this OH will act similar like that. Why? Sorry, this I should not say like this MCL, I should not say CCL. Okay, so this is a radical, I should say CCL. See, compared to that, if we think this carbon OH2 plus is similar because this Cl minus is a good living group and this OH is OH2 also is good in good living group because the neutral molecule after leaving it will produce a neutral molecule okay chart is stable but if you compare the previous case in case of alcohol if we if we give electron will it do it it will not do efficiently because source of electron means for example let's take sodium so then what will happen that electron will react with this active hydrogen and ultimately produce this alkoxide O minus Na plus instead of liberate, instead of breaking this bond it will break this bond. So it is essential that it should be made proper polar such that this breaking happens. And for that thing what is done this because of this protonation this bond is now prone to break. 
and in presence of electron which is coming from zinc breaks it means if this electron provides here it will go so ultimately what is expected that this c dot will produce second in medium there are many nascent hydrogen so this can combine with this h dot now if you ask me any proof is there i don't know any proof this is the probable thing so for your understanding and uh, for your better understanding i think it will follow this but this is not a well proved mechanism it is believed that reaction process so this way so in such cases if question comes to your examination that what is the thing if you can't say exact also but if you say the logical thing that is enough for to get marks so don't worry whatever you understand and if it is logical you will get marks so this is and what it produces this produces this carbon hydrogen so one hydrogen and second there is a metal zinc bond okay so metal means metal is delta plus we know based on the polarity this carbon is delta minus so if you provide a under reaction medium contains water as well as h plus so what is expected water as well as h plus and cl minus so what is expected that this cl will abstract this and these will be obstructed by proton present in the medium to produce the final car uh, methylene derivative okay fine now the another mechanism which is little another type of interesting because as we told that this is heterogeneous okay so as we told this is heterogeneous so it follows this and this is a carbene type mechanism carbene means carbene means you can think that this is with a double bond and we know carbene can form double bond with some metal thing mn plus if it is so it can form double bond so such type of things happens in the air also so first this protonated carbon is atta attached as i told electron attached to this surface and this electron transfer happens and reduction produces this heterogeneous zinc and carbon bond similar way after that in this stage what happens this is protonated protonated and when electron is provided it leaves and this produces a double bond okay which is this and you can consider this metal thing as a double bond so this and actually according to the polarity this is electron rich this is electron deficient so this is this part is protonated with two proton and produces this methyl so this is the overall mechanism of this now question what is the application of this actually in a very simple application is predict a alkylation because if you do alkylation it will result polyalkylation but if you selectively want alkylation first do acylation after that reduce using this clemens and reduction and keep it in mind this mechanism this process is useful when you don't have any acid sensitive moiety means molecule have some functional group which is stable in acid then this method applicable otherwise Alk if it is alkali stable, then you should go to Wolf Krishna. So that's a different thing. I'll explain later. So this is formally the end of the discussion. So what we have learned today about the basic concept of this Clemens and reduction mechanism of this process, role of zinc, role of amalgam means mercury, and how to avoid this to prepare activated zinc, and finally the mechanism of the process, which is not well established, but it is believed to proceed this way. So this is the end of this discussion. In next video, I shall explain some examples about this Clemenson reduction. So thank you everyone for listening my video. And if this video is helpful to you, please help my channel to grow. First of all, subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule, and please press the bell icon uh, to get the notification of every single video I upload. And most importantly, share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort. And thank you. See you in my next video. God bless you.